everybody, it's Leslie with Black Dog Vintage and I have my auction wins today and I won a big huge jewelry box at a local auction and it's big. <laughs> There's a lot of jewelry in it so we are going to go through it today and we'll see what we got. Hopefully there's some good stuff in there. I didn't pay too much for it so I won't be too worried about it if uh, we didn't get much and we'll see what we got. Uh, this will probably be one of those videos where some of it will be for sale, some of it I'll save for the next couple lives, uh, hopefully, and uh, we'll just see what we got. And I'll show you what the box looks like and uh, then we'll go from there. So let's see what the box looks like and uh, you can hear Angel in the background, she's playing with one of her toys. So uh, here we go. Okay, so we got the sun in the background, So, but that's what the box looks like. It's pretty big. There's Angel, she's looking out the window. And uh, yeah, it's pretty big. It opens up and there's, it looks like they wrapped a bunch of stuff. And uh, there is, yeah, and that there's three layers. So it kind of opens up and it like fishtails out. So it's very unsteady. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait until we get into the other room before I open it all up. So, um, and there's Angel with her toy, so you can see what's crinkling. Angel, Angel, what you got? <laughs> so we'll see what we got in here. Hopefully it'll be some good stuff. Okay, so I'm kind of excited. This is the first item, actually. This is a different lot that I want. It was just a single necklace. And uh, let's see if I can pop this open somehow. Put some tape on it. And, oh, here we go. So this is a necklace that I thought was really pretty. It had um, a really cool little pendant and then these crystals here that were really, oh, I gotta get this, there we go, get this focus, there we go. Um, so we've got a red, green, and oh, they're different shapes. So we've got a round, and then a square, or a diamond, I guess, teardrop, and a heart, and then these really pretty crystals. And then this is the clasp. And I don't see any marks on the clasp here. Let's see if there's any marks here. Oh, and then there's pretty little, that's pretty. Um, it's funny, they said that this was sterling, but I don't see any marks that leads me to believe that it is. And they also said that these were gemstones. So let's just check. Oops check really quick. Um, I have my Presidium off camera, but I have a feeling that it's probably not. Yeah, these are just glass. Yeah, but regardless, it is still a really pretty necklace. I do really like it. It's not like I spent a lot on it, but it is a very, very, very cool necklace. So, I like it. Um, the length on this one is 20, about 20 inches. And um, yeah, this will probably go into one of the lives. So I like that one. So we'll set that one aside. All right. Um, I just cleared out the first level of the... Um, first level of the uh, jewelry box <laughs> and like blinking here and uh, we'll see here oh we've got some pretty earrings got a bracelet uh, this is a tangled it's like a tangled mess here uh, I haven't really looked at anything in here um, it's kind of an interesting earring set some of the stuff all out and what is this that just looks like a big 
huge tangle. I'm not really even sure what this is, if this is a necklace or what this is cool, whatever this might be. I don't see this more. Oh, maybe, no, it's not marked. It's a cool little bracelet. I have to get that cut. Looks like this was an old price tag. Maybe it was like in a garage sale or something. I'm not sure, but this is definitely a massive tangle. And of course I have scissors on my desk. So we'll hold off on that. That's a cool pendant on an ugly, ugly, ugly necklace. I'm taking this necklace off because it's all discolored. It probably is supposed to be clear, but it's yellowed and nasty. Ick, gross, and nasty. So we are going to get rid of this. And... <laughs> Okay, I had to take the, um, I had to answer the door. So, and she, <laughs> I had to answer the door for UPS because Angel got her bark box. And so she, you might hear squeaking because uh, she, I opened it up and she got her toys. So you may hear some squeaking in the background. So hopefully it won't bother anybody. Um, but I uh, undid the, I undid the, um, the gross little chain off of this and it's an adorable little pendant. Um, so I might keep this for the uh, Wednesday night live. So I'm going to set this one aside and same with this. This is a great little bracelet. Um, and there's no marks on this. It's such a cute, cute bracelet. I love this. Um, and this bracelet measures uh, seven, uh, actually seven, almost seven and a half inches. So it's a nice size. Um, it'll kind of droop on your wrist a little bit. Um, so super cute. I like that bracelet. Really cute. Um, so I've got a couple pairs of ear. Oh, look at this bracelet. This is a great little one here too. Um, and this one is, uh, you know, this one, I think we're going to do, uh, we'll do, we'll do $5 on this one. This is, uh, just a nice little imprint. It's a base metal. It's just really kind of cute. Um, and this one is, this one's about seven inches. So super, super cute little bracelet here. I like that one. So seven inches on that one. So we'll do that one for sale today. Got one pair of earrings here. Oh, these are Napier's. Those are cute little um, clip hooks and then you can adjust it. I do like that style because it can be, makes it a little bit more comfortable. So gold tone clips um, with the pearls, little hoops. And we're gonna say $5 on those. And got another pair here. These are uh, Trafari. Yeah, come on. Yeah, those are Trafari. And uh, not sure why it's not focusing very well, but there we go. Trafari, yeah, Crown Trafaris. And uh, super cute. And it, oh, we're missing one tiny stone, which two tiny stones. And I think I can probably fix those. Really cute. I'm going to see if I can get those fixed by maybe. Uh, Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm going to set those aside. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so we got our earrings there. And I don't know why they wrap things in like Kleenex here. So, but I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. All right, we got a necklace here. And let's see. You can hear Angel and her squeakies. All right, Angel, I should probably should have waited to give her those. All right, so this is a cute little 
necklace, silver tone. And it's on a nice extender. And nice extender. This is a, I thought there was a tag on this. Oh no, here it is. Chico's. Nice little Chico's necklace. Uh, it's about 16 inches, and then you've got a nice long extender, so probably can make it to almost like 19 inches. It's really nice. I like that. Um, we're going to do this one for $10. $10 on that one. Um, here we have, it looks like this might be dyed howlite. I do not believe this is real turquoise. That is definitely not sterling silver. can tell that right off the bat. Cute little choker. This one is also 16 inches. And um, that is nice. That's a nice little necklace. And we're gonna do this one for, um, we'll do this one for 12. That's, that's a nice little necklace. Great for the summer. Great little summer necklace. I like that. I like that. All right. And then we've got this bracelet. That is on, it's supposed to be on a stretchy that doesn't stretch, which is too bad because it's actually kind of a cute bracelet. And, uh, but it's definitely worn out. So I'm gonna put that in craft. Unfortunate, uh, it was a cute bracelet. Oh wow, look at that, that's an old Coro, old Coro, um, like uh, earring holder. And uh, let's see, are these coral earrings? They're not marked coral. Interesting. I don't know if these are really coral or not. They're kind of a cool earring. I am going to say, we're gonna say that these are a little scratch on there. I'm gonna say five dollars for those earrings. Let's see what's in this next little thing. Ooh, this is cute. Oh, it's a pendant on a very. Almost need to put that on a stronger one. Um, but look at that! It's a great enamel butterfly. Um, great little, great little rhinestones on there. It's on a pendant. Okay, so that, yeah, that has a um, pendant that is a little, a little weak, but we can even, yeah, I mean, anybody could even like put a cord on there and just tie it correctly or, I don't know, because this is pretty heavy, but it's, God, that's cute. I might save that for a live and then do something with it. That's so cute. <laughs> I love that butterfly. Not marked, surprisingly, but that's really cute. I like that. Um, this is going to be interesting. This is a whole bag. We'll see what's in this bag. Let's see. Let's see what kind of goodies we have. Okay, we have one of these rings that stretch. We'll say um, $2 for that little ring way back there um we have a little scarf thing we'll ha say a dollar on that um wait it's kind of a crazy little earring another big earring um it's kind of a cool cuff link oh here we go this is cool Looks like we've got a little Beverly. I think that says Beverly. It's a little Beverly um, uh, pin. I love this. And I do believe I may have a Beverly. It looks like it might be broken, but I have like a welding glue. We can probably fix that. And I know there's some Beverly's out there. Angel. Um, 
Here's just one of these. I'm going to put this in crafts. These are just one of those like wooden bead things. Um, earring. What is this? This is all a tangled mess. I'm going to put that in craft too. So I might want it for the beads. Um, that's broken. That'll go in craft. Um, that. Uh, we've got a long rhinestone earring. There's that. Um, this, I think there's, this might have this supposed to go in there. I don't know. I think it's going to go in craft. What else do we have? That's a cool earring. That's actually a super cool earring. We have the other one somewhere. Oh, this is something. It almost looks like Lucite or Bakelite. And it has something stuck in there. Oh, this earring or something. Hmm. Boy, a lot of these tangles. Boy, oh boy. I don't know. These little chains. I hate these little chains. And it's from this earring that's like quite unattractive, I feel. Hope nobody else. I hope that doesn't offend anybody, but I think this earring's gonna go right into craft. I do I do have its mate, but I think it's pretty unattractive and I don't feel like anybody's gonna want it, but I may be wrong. I might be wrong if somebody says, oh, I really like those little woven, bead woven earrings with the fringe. Please let me know. I can take them out of craft. Um, and I've got this end. That is this little ball thing. And let's do back out. Just got to back out. It's like going in reverse. Or we'll do it. Just pull it. There we go. All right. So I wonder what this is. I set that aside because we want to find the whatever it goes to. All right. We're putting those in craft because they're ugly. And that's just my opinion. We've got another little... What is this? A little cufflinky thing? Maybe, I don't know. And that's a cool earring. It's a Sarah Coventry. Let's see if we find a mate to it somewhere. This is something and that. And that is gonna just go in craft. This is an earring that's all broken. That, we'll see if we find a mate. That's pretty. We'll find, see if we can find a mate to that. That's a cool ring. That's an adjustable ring. Um, any marks? No marks on it. Um, if anybody's interested in the ring, we'll just say uh, $5 on that ring. Oh, we have a mate for this earring. And we have a missing stone back there. And oh no. A missing is that a missing stone? And these are also Trafari. So I'm gonna set those aside for a live and then we will see about the missing stone if that it really truly is and then I will um and then I will get those ready for a future life um this is craft just a cabochon here is a oh this is a little trafari button earring if anybody's interested in these we'll say five dollars I didn't know that they made anything like that. I've never really seen them. I usually see them, they're like a Marvella or 
a Laguna or something along those lines. Okay, so that's everything from the first uh, first shelf on this um, on this uh, jewelry thing, and then let's look at the second and let's see what we can find. All right, this is definitely a weird a weird uh jewelry box. I thought maybe I could sell the jewelry box, but I don't know. It's kind of not the best jewelry box. I put our earrings and stuff that need pairs over on this side. And so this has two bags of jewelry. Just plastic bags. We're going to dump out the first one. Oh, and then I had this little owl. So I'm not really sure what it is, but it's kind of a cool little rhinestone owl and uh, maybe a pendant or something. I'm just going to say, um, we'll say $5 for him. Anybody like some? Pretty cool. All right. So first bag of jewelry. Like I said, I didn't pay much for this, so be happy. I mean, sometimes, sometimes, oh, jeez, oh, Pete. <gasps> Wow, that is an earring, you guys. That's an earring. Oh, there's a big hair in here. Um, that's an earring. Wow, okay, sure. Um, this says five dollars. Okay, um, that's a cool bead, and then these are cold. Oh, no, no, let me see. I might look. Presidium. This is just some kind of quartz. So maybe like a soda light or something. Um, I'm going to say if anybody wants it for five, just a memory wire necklace. That's cool. Uh, not sure what this is. I'm going to test it. It's just beads. Somebody marked a lucite question mark. Obviously, there was something that went here. Um, and, yeah, they're just beads, but I'm not sure what that is. So, I'm going to test it. I'm going to set that aside. Never know. We never know. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. Here's a cool little bracelet. And... Not really sure what's going on on this end. Looks like maybe the fold over is caught. There we go. Oh, that's kind of cute. It just goes like that. Oh, that's really adorable. A little like tribal guys, like little totems or something. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. It's just in like a base metal or something, some kind of brass maybe. Oh, so adorable, so sweet. I like that. And uh, this measures uh, six and three quarters. So it's a little on the smaller side. Oh, that's so, oh my gosh, that's adorable. I love this. Oh, so, so cute. It's so stinking cute. Okay. So this, um, let me put this in a live. You never know. You never know. Um, here we have, oh, let's see. Is this Coro? Is this, oh, it's Claudette. Not super familiar with Claudette. I've heard it. I've not really done much with it. So we'll wait for a live on this one. I'll do a little bit more research on Claudette. It doesn't, it feels like it's an old, like a 1960s, 70s uh, Lisner where it's all like basically plastic or old, like a same time period Coro where I always say when they sold out. Um, but this is actually a cool one because I like the wider look to it. So I don't hate this one. Um, I like the wide, the wide version. So this will definitely go in a live. Um, 
else do we have here? Okay. That's a funky earring. That's a funky earring. That's actually a cool earring. Um, we have... Boy. I don't know, I'm probably breaking things here. But some of it, I'm, I don't care if I break it because it doesn't seem like it's that, qual that high quality. That's actually a nice earring. This is a cheaper one. That's actually kind of, oh, that's a nice earring. That's actually really nice. Okay, here, these are nice. Are these marked? No, those are nice earrings though. Look at these. Those are really nice. I like those. Um, those will be an alive, I think. We'll set those aside. Oh, look at we got another link of these. Those are cool. I'm gonna set those aside. We're gonna test those because you never know. And then you know, if I can't find anything with them, maybe we'll upcycle them. Okay, so this is a feels like it's ceramic. Those are definitely uh, made to maybe look like coral, but they are not attractive. Um, but the color is really pretty. Um, but they're made to look like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to really go into what I think they look like. Um, uh, it's it is about 17 actually inches long on its shortest um I mean if anybody likes it uh three dollars on that but it's a little off-putting in my estimation um here we have uh and I'm not trying to be weird about that but that's just a a little off-putting there. Um, <laughs> this is a broken bracelet, so that's gonna go in craft. Oh, here we have, oh, that's an, oh, that's an Anne Klein. And look at that, we've got a lion's head there. <gasps> that's nice, it just needs to get cleaned. Oh, that's a cool bracelet. <gasps> that's nice. And this one is seven and a half inches. That's a really nice bracelet, I love this with the lion's head. And it's actually in pretty good condition. Once it cleans up, that's gonna be really nice. A lot of this is really dirty. I can feel it on my hands. It is icky, 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 icky. Um, that's kind of a cheaper piece of jewelry there. It's weird, there's some like uh, cheap jewelry in here and then there's some like, um, there's some nice, so this is, it says Rush Street. This actually isn't terrible. It feels like it's not bad. It's got a little bit more, um, I don't want to say heft, but it's not like that cheap aluminum. Um, that's actually not bad. If anybody likes this, we'll say $5 for those. Um, I do like the enameling on that. I will say that. It's kind of a cool 80s style. Um, oh, that's cool, but it's broken, so that'll go in craft. Um, that is that. Those are cool. Broken. We got another single earring. That is one big hook. Oh, I see how that goes. That's interesting, I guess. Oh, we got broken. We have broken, but that's kind of cute. That would have been cute. Um, that's kind of that's kind of cheaper, but it's kind of a pretty color. Um, it's kind of a pretty glass bead at the bottom of that. I don't hate it. That's a pretty little tack pin. That's pretty. Um, we'll say two dollars on that. That's actually really nice. A little glass cabochon on there. That's going in craft. That's just not even attractive. 
Is this the one I just sat down? I think so. Okay. And then this is some kind of, that's going to go in craft. And we have a craft. And then we've got, this is a bracelet. That's not too bad. Make sure everything works okay on it. I kind of like that. Works good. That's pretty, kind of like a shell design, gold tone. This one is, um, this one's about seven inches. That's pretty, we're gonna say $3 on that one. It is a gold tone, it's, um, you know, not a real heavy weight or anything, but that's, that's pretty. All right. Um, this is, what is this right here? This looks interesting. Let me get it away from this other piece. Because this looks pretty. it's on a barrel clasp okay so this is a pretty little crystal necklace oh it's got some flaw to it I hate these little tag thingies I think these little these little things when people put tags on like that I really do feel like they should be outlawed <laughs> but that's just me okay so this is interesting so this is gold tone it's on these little curved um pipe kind of bead thing i don't even know what you want to call these um that's kind of interesting i'm going to set that off to the side for a moment oh that's cute that's super cute little puppy let's actually set that off to the side that's adorable um we're gonna get rid of these uh, there's an earring. I don't even know what this is, but it's, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so that is, I'll set that aside. Okay, two more, two more things here. Okay, so I get rid of these craft things and then we'll look at these necklaces. Okay, so we have this necklace here that ties and you can tie it to whatever length you want. That's kind of a cool little lucite um, centerpiece, really pretty blue. And I'm gonna say $3, $3 for that. Um, here we have a bead woven um, necklace and this has a um, uh, Lobster claw clasp on a extension. This is, um, how long is this? Um, this is about 21-ish inches, and then it doesn't have a very long extension. It's only about two inches, but that's kind of a cool little necklace. Um, I'm gonna say, um, we'll say $6 on that okay so then this one i don't even know it's it's kind of this weird little barrel class so when it, you have these little things and then you've got a barrel class you're like twisting it and then you've got to like get this to go and i don't think you're ever going to really get it to lay lay correctly um and i don't have a neck that's gonna like really work with this but that's kind of an interesting necklace um if anybody likes this it's long this is about uh 28 inches long um 
if anybody does like it, I'm gonna say $8 on it. It's just kind of a different kind of piece. Um, I do have one pair of earrings here so far as a match, I believe, just the one. I'm hoping some of these other ones come up. Others I don't really care about. Um, oh, this I'm going to put in craft. That's very cheap. It's cool, but it's very cheaply made. This is all plastic, so I'm going to set that in craft. Um, but these are kind of nice. I'm going to say $3 on those earrings. Those are very cute. Um, and that's craft too. All right. So, oh, we got a craft bead. All right. So let's see what's in this other bag. Maybe we can find some more matches. Oh, let me just see if any of these other earrings match up. Let's see. You can probably know, but, oh, yep. We do have a match. We have these as a match. We'll say $3 on these. And I don't think any of these others are matches. No. All right, so I set all of these earrings off to the side. And then we'll start all over again with the next bag. Do, do, do. All right. What do we have in here? Angel fell asleep. She played so hard she fell asleep. All right. Okay. This is a cool necklace. It is plastic, but it is a cool necklace. These are always kind of fun little statement necklaces. This is plastic though. Um, lobster claw clasp, nice big extension on it. Um, it looks like it is 16 inches, can extend another two and a half. So 16 to about 18 inches. There's some scratches in here, but very cute necklace. And I'm gonna say, we'll say eight on that one. Um, this actually looks like it is a hip belt. Um, and yeah, this is a hip belt. There's your little hook. Um, that's kind of a cool one. It's got little chains that fall off of it. Yeah, kind of a neat little hip belt. And this is all total probably uh, I'm gonna say probably close to 39 inches long I don't make I actually taped my measuring uh, <laughs> my measuring tape up on my table that was a suggestion by one of my viewers and it was a fantastic suggestion why I never thought about it before, I have no idea, but I didn't I didn't tape up as long as I should and I have it clipped at the end. So um it's probably 39 to 40 inches long, and that's really cool. Um if anybody is interested in this for 15, please let me know. Otherwise, I probably will put that on eBay. I do sell those quite a bit, so um of plastic jewelry in this bag looks like um, this one though is kind of a cool this one is not plastic I don't think maybe it is oh it is this is plastic uh, and like a looks like an older design but those are plastic interesting a uh, cool brooch with plastic stones. Um, and so we're going to say, uh, we'll say $8 on that. That's kind of cute. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a wedding cake bead necklace? No way. We have a wedding cake bead necklace. A long one. How is this even possible? That is a wedding cake bead necklace. 
These are I do believe this is more modern though. It is really nice. I do believe this is more modern. Um, it's still worth a little bit. The reason I believe that this is more modern is that I can see what's called bead release on the inside of these beads. And um, if I didn't see that, then that would indicate that it is older um so i do believe this is more modern it may still be you know a little bit older but i do believe this is more modern this is real it's still a really nice necklace it still has value um but this is a more modern one this is not a vintage uh, as we would consider vintage wedding cake bead necklace this is still this is a more newer one probably made within the last probably 30 years but it is a very cool, cool necklace that will go in a video. Um, here is a, oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. We're gonna set that in the earring pile. Ooh, what do we have here? A tangled mess. Well, that's a nice, kind of a cool necklace. And we have a clasp right here on there. Um, this is 22 inches long. Um, it's just a simple like loop chain, kind of like that. Oh, I'm gonna get a, maybe I'll do it this way. I'll just zoom out a bit. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, no name on this or anything. The clasp is, uh, they have it, they don't have this in the correct thing here. Um, so there we go. I'd have to go in this little ring. It looks as if maybe there should be more loops, but it can go, there we go. But still, 22 inches is a good length. That's pretty. I'm going to say $5 on that. It's cool. Just as is, $5. Um, this is... I don't really know what this is. Is this all supposed to be? No. This is not supposed to be like this. There we go. Uh, this isn't supposed to be like this either. There we go. Um, this is a, this is a, actually kind of a cool necklace. It's craft. Okay. So we have, this is on like a bead wire, multi-strand, and we've got like a clear crystal with rhinestones, triple strand. And it kind of goes like that kind of a cool necklace. We've got like little rhinestones, clear crystal. That's actually very pretty. Very like early uh, 2000s, 1990s-ish, but still very cute. It's definitely more of a choker length. It only goes 14 and a half inches to 16 inches, but um, so definitely like that early 2000s. Um, but look at, I love the crystals on there. I love that, that's super cute. We'll say, um, we're gonna say $8 on that. Super cute, I like that. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it was supposed to go on here. I don't think so, it doesn't match. No, it doesn't match to that. So I guess that's going to go in craft. This is a cute little, it's a cute little bracelet with the hearts. I don't see a name or anything on this. And and this, and it's about 
seven inches and we're gonna say three dollars on that oh my this is I don't even know goes like that very much a statement necklace It is 19 inches long and very much a statement necklace. That one will say, uh, we're gonna say $10 on that. It's cool. It definitely is cool. Um, oh, this is a tangled mess. I'm just gonna put this in craft and it's, I don't even wanna deal with it. So that's gonna go in craft. Um, we have a broken watch. Oh, the other side is on the other uh, in craft, but I'm just going to put it in there. Um, here. Oh, that's cool. A little mixed metal bracelet. Brass bracelet. I'm going to say $3 on that. Um, oh, this is neat. I like this. I like this a lot. But I like, I, you know, I like this gold stuff, this funky gold 1970s, 80s stuff. I like this. This is cool. I like this a lot. Look at this. How fun. How fun is that? Oh, that's for sure going to go in a live. That's going in a live. I love that. I love, love, love that. Oh, now this on the other hand is wild oh and we're in a tangle holy tangle over here oh my goodness gracious oh boy i don't even know okay we got an earring okay we're tangled with an earring what kind of earring is this holy cow okay all right there we go wow Oh, and then you come back for us, Erin. Okay. Look at that. That's wild. That's it. Rock side. There we go. Oh, it's got little rhinestones. Oh, how cute. Okay. So that's that still is wild. It's got a long extender. I like the pink and the like the brown. That's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. That is kind of cool. We're looking at approximately 16 inches, and then you've got an extender of about three. Um, super cool necklace. I'm gonna say $12 on that. That is a really cool, uh, make sure we're not missing any stones. Does not look like we're missing any stones. That's kind of a cool necklace. I like that. So we'll say 12 on that. Um, ooh, here's another pair of earrings. Just looked on the, we'll say three on those. It is a very thin metal. It's gonna be very nice and light. Here we have a, oh, double strand. Oh, that's kind of a cool double strand. I kind of like that. I don't hate it. Um, We've got some crystal, AB crystal. We've got a gold bead. We have some, Looks like a uh, mixed metal, I believe. That's it. Yeah, looks like, well, two shades maybe of gold. And then the clear. Oh, maybe that, I can't tell. I think that's two shades of gold. Brass and gold. I don't know. It almost looks like mixed metal to me. And then um, that's, I think this is cute. I like this. Is this marked? No, not marked. What is up? But nobody marks their jewelry anymore. Why not? Why doesn't people mark their jewelry? It drives me crazy. Um, shortest length, 17 inches. And then we have an extender of about three, so it can go to 20. That is a really neat necklace, and I'm gonna say um, $8 on that necklace. Very cool. Um, 
There's another interesting piece. Um, another one not marked. Um, kind of a cool one with all the, you know, the red and silver beads. We're looking at about 17 inches with a two inch extender. So it can go up to 19 inches. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna say five on that one. And then this is kind of falling apart. It's got a broken strand. So that's gonna go into craft, but it's too bad because look at that centerpiece. That's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. And let's go into the next level. I'm gonna start pulling those pieces out. Oops. Okay. I just brought everything up and just to make it easier. <laughs> All right. Cause the didn't want to like clink and bang and everything while I was uh, trying to open up that last part of the the um, the jewelry box. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Kind of an interesting little box there. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, is this a scarf clip? Something you can wind your scarf in or, I don't know, or is that just craft? I'm gonna say that's craft. If somebody is interested in it, let me know, but I'm just gonna put that in craft for now. Um, <clears throat> I actually have both of these. They'd be kind of cute for um, 4th of July or something. Um, can take those off. All right, that's kind of cute for 4th of July. We'll say $3 on those. Those are actually sort of cute. Um, oh, did I have the other one? I think I did have the other one of these. Yeah, look at those. Those are actually uh, sort of cute. We'll say three on those. Three on those. I got red. There's a definite mark on those. We're going to put those in craft. <clears throat> What's this? Um, this is kind of scuffed up. We're going to put that in craft. That's going in craft. Um, that's not bad. It's a little scraped, but what is this marked? It's marked something. Oh, Givenchy. Oh, well, well, it's got a couple of scratches, but we'll hope we can find the mate to that one. That'd be nice. Oh, we got a red one too. That'd be cute if we, if you did one red, one white or one blue. For 4th of July, that would be super cute. Hopefully we'll find the other one. Um, that's definitely scuffed up. That's too bad. I'm gonna set that one back. And what is that? It's missing the Z quartz. It's missing the band, but that's too bad. That's super cute. Now that's cool. It's all abalone, it's an owl. Huh. That's gonna get cleaned up and that'll go in the live. Um, I do not know what this is. It's dirty. Um, it says 13 for the set. I don't know why. Maybe I'll test these just in case they're like a Bakelite or something, but I don't think so. But I'll test them just in case. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they are. Who knows? That's pretty. I'll set that aside for a match. Ooh, are those inclined? I don't see a mark. That's a cool little earring, though. I like that. I like that. Oh, that's a pretty earring, too. I mean, there's some nice earrings in here that are, oh, that's an Avon. Um, some nice earrings that are, you know, a good quality. You can tell that they're a good quality. Oh, there's the mate. 
Okay, these are going to go in alive. Those are really quite nice. I like those. Very nice earrings. Um, these are broken. I'm just going to say they're broken. Okay, this is nice. Now, this is either... I don't think this is real coral. It's. I don't think... This is pretty heavy. But I'm gonna t I'll test it. I think it might be... <coughs> I don't know. Maybe... It feels like it could be glass. I don't know what this might be. Or lava. This is something. That's kind of cool. I'm going to save that one. We'll look into that one further. Ooh, this is that cool, really cool enamel earring. I, I actually like these a lot. I like these a lot. might save those actually for a live because those are actually super cool. I love this earring. Okay, that I have a mate. That's going to go in alive. This is not marked. No, that's not marked. Very interesting. Whoever had this jewelry box had some really nice pieces and then had some really weird pieces. Okay, that's a cool earring too. Very 4th of July-ish. Oh my gosh, that's a nice one. What is this? Anything? No, I see no marks. How cute is that though? Wow, it's adorable. Then that's another one of these little cufflink thingies. Here's a bracelet that's missing almost all of the little stones. Too bad, that's going in craft. <clears throat> craft, craft. This is broken, so this is going to go in craft. Um, that's an earring. I'll get that out of there. Oh, I feel I hear beads rolling around. What's this? Oh, these are pretty. Those are pretty. Those are wrapped up separate. Are these anything? Huh. No. But these are nice. Those will go off to the side. That's another nice pair of half hoops or a half hoop. That's nice. Ooh, that's kind of, oh, it's too bad. Oh, it's a brooch. It's kind of a cool brooch, but it's missing a stone. Dang, that's what we go going craft. That is an earring. That's, that's missing a stone. Darn it all. That's funky, but I'm thinking I don't like it. So, oh, I don't know. I guess if anybody likes this, $2 for those since we have a pair. Um, what is this? Oh, got an earring here. I guess we'll save it. What is this? This is heavy. Oh, it's a, this is some kind of pendant. Whoa. Wow, that's heavy, heavy pendant. We'll save that. We'll look into that one further. And that is a earring. What do we have here? Oh, we got quite the buckle. Quite the buckle going on. That's actually a pretty cool buckle. Um, I'm gonna look into that one. It's kind of a cool one. Oh, we got a scarf clip or a scarf runner thingy. It was marked $5. And we're not going to ask five for it. We'll ask two if anybody likes that. Uh, that's going to go in craft. It's pretty, pretty rough. That will go in craft. It's pretty, but it's missing stones. We'll do craft for that. Um, oh. Interesting. So we have a belt, and this is a little tiger belt. Oh, this is so cute. Is this marked enough? I said it was ten dollars. Somebody had it for ten. Huh. It's very lightweight. 
but it's got a little tiger or something with little red eyes. And it's just a simple chain little hip belt. And this one is going to be probably about 30, 37, 38 inches long. If anybody likes that for 10, I would do that for 10. 10 is pretty fair on that. We're going to do these in craft, craft, craft. And then we got some more earrings and stuff going on here. And some other stuff over here. All right. Oh, we got a ring. That's cool. And this is March. And that is March. Oh, it's a KJL snake ring. And I think these are, oh, this fits perfectly. And um, I don't have my ring sizer. But if it fits on this ring or this finger here, it's probably about a size seven. And it could be seven and a half. It's a little loose. It's got little red eyes. Does not look like it's missing any stones. Little cabochon. That's going to go in the live for sure because I know that's worth some money. Here we have, oh, that's too bad. A little Monet. Oh, that's really too bad. Oh, that's beautiful too. I almost want to say this was part of the runway series, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, these are craft, 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 craft. That's a interesting little brooch. If anybody likes that brooch for two dollars. That's craft, earring, earring, craft, and then we have an earring and an earring. Okay, that's all of it. Let's just see if we have any matching earrings. Okay, so I don't have the red, but you know what? If you get blue, the blues, I would include the red. Oh, man. Okay. So... Definitely don't have the match to these two, so those will go in craft. Let's just double check on the rest of these earrings. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Okay, so what do we have here that's left? Okay, I know I don't have this one, so that can go in craft. That would have been a crazy earring. And does not look like I have this, but I'm going to keep this one because it's actually cool and we can upcycle it. This one I don't have. That can go into craft. This I know I don't have. That can go in craft. Same with that one. It does not look like I have this one either. Or... No star. Oh, here's a tie clip. Oh, missed that one. Okay, tie clip would be uh, $2. I'm sad about this. I'm sad about the Gavinci. Single Gavinci earring. Okay, that can go into craft. No blue, that'll go in craft. Does not look like we have a no, not this one, and not this one. I'm just pulling out the silvers. It's not look like we have this one. That one we'll save though. I'm gonna save the Gavinci just in case I don't know, come up with it. That one. No. So those will go into craft because can't really do much with it. This one too. That'll go into craft. Some of these nicer ones though, I kind of want to keep. Because you never know. That's kind of nice. I don't know that one 
Oh, here we got a match. This one and this one. If anybody likes that, $5 on those. Some of these little beaded ones we'll get. Oh, that's a nice little cloisonne bead. Darn it. Might save it for the bead. We'll get rid of this. Well, a little tie. Oh, that's a nice little tie thingy. Uh, tie tack or whatever. So we'll keep that. That's craft for sure. Keep that. Um... That'll go in craft. This will go in craft. That will go in craft. Um, I guess most of these will end up going in craft. I'm sad about this one. I might keep that just because some of the, you know, like I said, some of these are in good, good condition. And they might be, I don't know, this one really is a nice earring. I don't know. That's a nice earring. That's a beautiful stone there. Never know. Some of these you can upcycle with. Oh, that's a match. I just need to clean this up. And no mark, but I just need to clean those up. There's a little bit of verdigris on there. So we'll clean those and uh, put those in the vintage live. That makes me happy. Um, and then craft, and I guess maybe do something with those. That'll probably be, wait, oh, these are a match for these little half hoops. So $5 on those half hoops. And then these are, we'll set those. Might be able to upcycle that piece there and then maybe upcycle that. So we'll set those in the upcycles. All right. That was the jewelry box. I, I'm, I'm not overly upset with it. I mean, I definitely think we did okay. Um, I'm really curious on some of these pieces, like this owl. That's kind of a cool piece. That KJL ring is pretty darn phenomenal. Um, I'm sad that I didn't have that Givenchy other one. I'll be curious to see what this is. And um, yeah, and then the couple loose, or the couple earrings, pairs of earrings, those are cool. And then the Trafari earrings. And then, yeah, there's some other cool pieces. So I, I would say, you know, for what I paid for it, I think I paid... All total, I think I paid $50 for the jewelry box with the jewelry. I don't think I did bad, um, you know, and then I had, to, had it shipped. Um, and then with the necklace, um, with that other necklace that I got that I showed right at the beginning, I think all total, it did cost me a bit to ship. Um, all total, I think it ended up being, because of the cost of shipping, I think I all total, I was like $90, $90 in. Um, so we'll see. Let's see what I did. Let's see how I did. I'll be curious. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite piece? How do you think I did? Uh, let me know. What are your opinions on some of these pieces? I would love to know. Um, and uh, let me know some ideas for upcycling. I'll be really curious about these. I'll be really curious about these pieces, what they are and all of that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Sorry, it probably ran a little bit long. I had to stop a few times because Angel and her toys, but she's finally sleeping now. And uh, thanks so much, you guys. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you on one of my lives. Don't forget, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. And we'll see you then. Thanks so much. Love you all. Bye.